Okay, so I wanted to take a more long range, low recoil approach to the STB. I'm sure you guys are fully aware that the STB 556 is considered to be an aggressive style assault rifle, somewhat like the M4. But this thing actually has very good damage range statistics, and we're gonna be turning it into a more long range, slow paced type assault rifle today. Let's get into that now. So I still have attachments to keep your aim down sight speed up to make up for what was lost with things like a barrel and a muzzle, uh, but we have extremely manageable recoil, and with the barrel, we're gaining a bunch of damage range statistics. So we're gonna start here with the Bruin Q900 grip for sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. For the tuning on that one, I have it plus 0.23 towards your recoil steadiness, and then negative 0.22 towards your sprint to fire speed. For an optic here, not required by any means, but I found that taking longer range fights, it was better to have an optic here. I have the SCSR07 for precision sight picture, which is more or less the same thing as anything like a reflex sight. So when you have the all of these precision sight pictures, you have a lot to choose from, and the tuning are all gonna be the same. Negative 0.58 towards your aim down sight speed, and then you're gonna want that set to far to reduce that visual recoil. For the laser sight, I have the VLK laser seven milliwatt for aim down sight speed, aiming stability and sprint to fire speed. The only con being laser visible in ADS. This one can be changed out though, if you want even more recoil control with something like a stock or an under barrel. For the barrel, I have the FTAC FB20 for bullet velocity, damage range, recoil control, and hip fire accuracy. You are sacrificing that aim down sight speed and movement speed that I did mention, but I feel like that was made up for with the laser sight and rear grip. What's weird on this one is I decided not to tune it. I found that the recoil was much more manageable and the gun overall felt better while not tuning it, but you can tune this to the sweet spots as you so please. But like I said, I did not end up tuning the barrel. Our last attachment is the Echoless 80 suppressor for the muzzle sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, and recoil smoothness with the sacrifices being aimed down sight speed and aiming stability. I'm chasing that damage range and bullet velocity there because like I said, it's gonna be a longer range type build. For the tuning on that one, I have it negative 0.90 towards your aim down sight speed and plus 0.52 towards that bullet velocity. I'm going to let the gameplay speak for itself on this one. We're headed over to Breenberg Hotel where I think I featured it absolutely perfectly. You get the close range, medium, and long range fights all in one gameplay there. Make sure you guys are hitting that like button for me so other people can find this absolutely banger Modern Warfare 2 class setup. It's also the most effective way to support the channel. Let's get over to Breenberg Hotel. Hope you guys enjoy. So I am sure many of you know the STB is considered to be an aggressive style of assault rifle. What I've decided to do is focus more on the damage range and longer range fights within this weapon. And go figure, it actually has a decent effective damage range. It's just finding a way to properly control the recoil at ranges. And of course, you're gonna have to boost the statistics itself when it comes down to damage range. So we chucked on a barrel, chucked on a suppressor. Um, it looks like, yep, AFK. Believe it or not, that's a pretty good way to go off the damage range aspect of this thing. Let's get over here. We should have just secured spawns for the team. And it appears we did. Well, those flash grenades, I really hope they decide to end up nerfing those because they are annoying. I have no idea where this guy is on the hill. He's somehow staying alive, though. A little weird. Covering your six. 
Okay, so this hill is actually extremely hard to break. If you've watched any CDL, you know that this hill is a pain. There's so much cover. I don't know if that trophy system is still up. Okay, got that advanced UAV. That was a good guess on my part. This is not good. Are you going to come here? I'm in a sticky pickle at the moment. I'm going to take this long route around. See if we can pick people from the back. Okay, good. This should flip the spawn a bit. Okay, so we got to get this hill because we're starting to fall really behind. Good. We need five kills. Okay, we're going to not keep going there. There's a guy right there. Locating the next hard point. Oh, thank God. The guy above us definitely died, so we're going to dip out of here. Now that we have that MGB, we can play a little more freely. Um, should be coming from right here. He must have spawned behind me. Nope, he just hit a really good flank. I thought my team would have been watching that. They weren't. It's okay. We have 48 on the board. I just got punched in the face by an RPG, dude. Nice. Let's try to get one more kill here. That count? Nope. That didn't count. That guy must have just been down with second chance or whatever the heck it is. Last stand. There we go. Let's hit this. W game, man. That's my no recoil, longer ranges type STP. GG's.